Here we are guys and girls back again and it does appear to be open so the crypt chapel of the Holy Spirit so this is what we shall go and see guys and girls but we'll focus more on the crypt and then we'll do the burials after shall we there's a couple here wool merchants mrs julia marshall wife of john marshall of st olaves sir southwark wool merchant Died 2nd of February, that's 1631, that's not 1731 that is, aged 89, good age. If you wish to read and make, make that out, I'll let you do that, but William Clark Esquire, died 1st of October. 31st of December, and you can see it's pretty badly damaged, and in Latin. Here lieth the body of Rebecca, wife of Mr. John Young, of the parish of Devon Esquire, she died on October something 1715, aged about 50 years. Something. Elizabeth, wife of the above. December the sixth, seventeen nineteen, aged forty nine. When it's in the Latin numbers, I haven't got. Of uh, translating it. These are the coats of arms of the families. This one has a little baby grand piano on it. Sons of William Scrimshaw. You don't get names like that anymore, do you? Oh, I was trying to look at. Oh, Dutton, look, Elizabeth Dutton. Widow, daughter of Mr. Samuel Wood. Prominent 
rector of St. Mary Le Beau. She died the 16th of April, 1728, in the 79th year of her age. Here lieth the body of her two sisters, Mrs. Catherine something and Mrs. Susanna. Smallswood. But back to our crypt, we'll do some more of the burials after. Sorry guys and girls, I get carried away, you know how morbid I am. Just interesting, isn't it? Past people, they've all got a story to tell. And I am glad to listen. Or read anyway. Some of them are very clear, some of them are not. They've got good coats of arms on them. Here lies the body of Hannah Howard, daughter of Samuel Howard, lay of this parish, who died the 28th of October, 1699, aged 11 years. And some of these ones have been built over. I assume that you can walk through there, but we'll do that in a minute. It's turned out to be a good day today. One of the churches, which has always been closed, which is the Church of St. Edmund, the King and the Martyr, that was open. So that was a real treat for me, if you like churches, and a treat for any one of my viewers that enjoys watching churches. Mr. James Cart. Citizen. Through there is a calf, which was a crypt, but the remains of the people were removed and it has now been turned into a calf, which is highly disrespectful if you ask me, but there we are. No, I'm only joking. These churches have to keep open and going in whatever way they can. <clears throat> Lights usually do that to my phone. Well, most phones, I think. Unless it's me and they're just picking on me. But this is one of the oldest surviving rooms in the city of London, this crypt that we're standing in. Right, right back to Norman times. So guys and girls, if you come down here and you touch these walls, if walls could speak, they'd probably tell me to be quiet, I should imagine, but there we are. and gentle personages. I hope you all found that one interesting. It wasn't a very long one, I know, but it's, it's all interesting history. And we just walked through one of the oldest rooms in London. So, if you did enjoy that or find it interesting, please give it a like and a share. Thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. You're all swell. Real swell.